in order for us to be able to implement the algorithm, we will need to know the width of the image. The picture object has a getter method named getWidth, which returns the width of the image in the picture object in pixels. This method is called on the picture object and that width value is stored in the local variable of type int named width. This width value will be used later to compute the scale factor that must be applied to the color values for a particular pixel as a function of the distance of that pixel from one or the other edge of the image. The algorithm is implemented using code in a conventional for loop that begins in listing 4 on the right hand side of your screen. The for loop iterates through the array of pixel data modifying the colors in one pixel during each iteration. Every Java array object contains a property named length. The length property, property contains a value which is the number of elements in the array. The value of the length property is used in the conditional clause in the for loop to establish when the end of the array has been reached in order to terminate the loop. The first statement inside the body of the for loop gets a reference to a pixel object from the next array element. That reference is stored in the local reference vari variable named pixel which is of type pixel. The local variable named pixel of type pixel was declared in listing 3 which now appears on the bottom right of your screen. When the highlighted statement on the top right of your screen has finished executing, the local variable named pixel contains a reference to the current pixel object as specified by the value of the counter in the for loop. An object of the class named pixel has methods named get red, get green, and get blue that can be called to obtain the values of the red, green, and blue color components belonging to the pixel. Having gotten a reference to the current pixel, the code in listing 4 on the upper right calls the getGreen method 
on that reference to get and save the value of the green color component in the current pixel. That value is stored in the local variable named green that was declared earlier in listing 3 at the bottom right of your screen. Note that the local variable named green is of type int. The value returned by the getGreen method is also of type int. The last statement in listing 4 gets and saves the value of the blue color component in the current pixel. That value is saved in the reference variable named blue, which was declared earlier also. Once again, note that the type of the variable named blue is type int. The color values for the red, green, and blue color components of a pixel can range in value from 0 to 255 inclusive. If the value is 0, that means that that particular color is not contained in the overall color of the pixel. If that value is 255, that means that that particular color is contained at maximum strength in the overall color of the pixel. Values between 0 and 255 specify a proportional contribution of that color to the overall color of the pixel. Recall that the objective is to scale the green and the blue color values for each pixel on a column by column basis going from left to right across the top image on the right of your screen so as to produce the bottom image on the right side of your screen. I told you earlier that I would tell you how the pixel data is stored in the one-dimensional array of pixel data returned by the earlier call to the getPixels method. That pixel data is stored in the array on a row-by-row -row basis. In other words, the first group of elements in the array represent the first row of pixels in the image going from left to right across the image. The second group of pixels in the array represent the pixels in the second row of pixels from the image going from left to right across the image. In other words, the first width elements in the array contain references to pixels in the first row of pixels in the image going from left to right across the screen. The next width elements in the array contain references to pixels in the second row of pixels in the image and so on and so forth.